Hi, I just got a silver medal. Yay! About the first time I've got one. I think it is actually, I don't know. So uh, I've got a gold, a few golds in uh, chess.com. But I'm not bragging because I don't deserve any more than second. Because what happened was I lost two games earlier on. It's the Dutch defence, so it's the right one for me to play, if you get what I mean. I mean, I play the Dutch so often. And I've just watched Grandmaster Dan someone, I um, can't remember, I think he's from England, and he was showing four games on the Dutch defence. I'm going to show you my one of my games. I could show you my losses. I'm going to show you one of my games. But I could show you one of my other wins as well. So I'm going to show you an end game and an instructive end game. And I'm going to show you my game that I choose as the one I liked the most. Although the one other with the end game I really, really did like. Let's get on with it, Dave! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Ah, where's my food? Where's my food? Ha <laughs> ha! Where's my food? Let's get on with it. This is the second last game. The last game ended in a bit of a draw, but I was uh, winning that position, sort of, but it still was okay for black. So I had to play the white side of the Dutch defence quite a few times. So here's this game. This was quite technical actually. It seemed like it. Did I give that exchange up on purpose? I think so. No, I didn't. I lost it. This is a, a sad result really because um, here white's in trouble a little bit even though they exchange up. Check. This game for interest's sake is quite... An instructive queen and pawning game and rooks. Apparently to get the bishop on d6 is very, very good in the Dutch for black. I wamble around a wee bit here, to be honest. Check. Oh dear. So I've got rid of a... Or we have... Uh, taking a pair of rooks off the board. Now, watch your move now. What would you play now? I don't know about White's play here too much. Uh, White did go berserk mode, so he had one and a half minutes to play their moves. D3. And uh, so the Queen can out take the e3 pawn because d2 and queening soon so but this got a wee bit tangy i think queen c4 king h8 and then e6 uh, d2 and then uh, rook c7 so i of course go d1 queen now i can just um what can i do here that's real simple yeah i see it King g2, I've got a very good move, better than the one I played. I played queen d2, but obviously there's something way better here. Because so I have got two queens on board compared to white's one queen. So I'm a queen up. Uh, so I've got a real basic move here. Instead of queen d2, I should go, of course, rook d2 check. And queen h5 is checkmate. But maybe I wanted to drag it out a little bit longer. And my opponent timed out. So the next game I want to show you is the games I promised you. The the end game one and the win. The good win. All the losses. So here is this game and it is black to move and uh, as you would appreciate, black's got a wee bit of a hold on the position, but white's just um, hanging in there and not wanting to relinquish the game by just hanging in there. So what do I do? 
Um, soon to come is a few moves away. I play g5 first because I just want to play g4. A bit naughty, but my bishop is outside of this um, this straight jacket. So once I play g4, I've got a real good hold on eight on f3 with the support of h5 should it be necessary, if you get what I mean. Whereas the bishop's out, so the bishop is out of the cage, white could swap off this white squared bishop. But then I've got a, probably a draw. Um, rook f3, I've got rook f3, and uh, it's you know, not sure if it's going to go anywhere actually. I can probably march my king to here, to the square, f5, but with the pawn on f3, hopefully, or something else like that. But anyway, so let's go. Uh, I don't think white had to play what they did. h5, but I'm pretty well prepared for playing the Dutch defence, so... That's why I played in this Dutch defence stonewall variation line because I thought, well, I'm pretty versed with it. So here's h5, rook d2, g4. So white's just playing um, moves backwards and forwards, which isn't silly. g4, h4, um, king f7. The king's not actually going anywhere. So I played rook f3, you see. And here's rook f3 again and gf3. Now, the problem is, is that what does white do? So I'm going to um, just fast forward a little bit further. King h2, if king h3 now, then I'm just going to go king, G f king f5, stopping g4, really. And then I'm threatening to go king to g4, etc. So the the king has a lot of white squares that it can enter into. Not completely. But we have got problems with the strong pawn for uh, black. So that's a problem for white. King here and... Does it threaten anything? Not yet, but it does. So what does it threaten? Um, I could play it now, but I didn't. Uh, King h1, I could play it now, so you can see it, can't you? You can see the move that wins for black here. It's easy to see. It's 1, 2, 3, e3. But bishop e2 came first, and then king h2, and now e3 and what is white to do what is white to do about this it's pretty nasty really actually isn't it actually uh, eventually f2 this is curtains rook h1 f1 rook f1 bishop f1 king g1 bishop d3 king f2 bishop e4 and white resigned this is at least one of the games that i wish to show you because it ends up with a bit of a tactical exercise so i hope you bear with me i hope you watch it till the end to the fruition and that helps this chess channel uh more than uh stopping it before i stop rambling sort of thing so just ramble off I've been watching this really fun millionaire um, talking about uh, his life troubles <laughs> and I can relate to some of them. I won't go into detail but he's a bit of a technical uh, entrepreneur millionaire, multi-millionaire. So here we got the opening moves where I'm white. I used to play a a chap from the Otago Chess Club that from Holland that would play the Dutch defence. And I just couldn't get a look into it. I couldn't get a look in. 
There was another one who played the stone wall all the time, and I always beat that person. Well, a lot of the time I did. I'm not trying to brag. It's just like, uh, but he did teach me a lot about the stone wall defence because I had to learn about how to defend against it. So here is infiltration of the rook onto the seventh rank. And I've just played queen b2, rook h8, rook g7. This is a wee bit tangy. Queen b7. But now we have um, f4. So that black is now defending this pawn on e6, which is pretty paramount. paramount. Uh, so I take the pawn here because I think, well, I'm going to get a bishop. Not. Uh, queen h2. And now, uh, it's almost checkmate, isn't it? I mean, it's just about checkmate with Queen H1 check. Uh, but Bishop H1, sadly, it's not checkmate. As if it was just, if this wasn't a bishop, if it was a knight, it's checkmate, of course, on the move. And if it's um, having to capture, which it does, if this is a queen here, and this is a rook here, then rook h1 and bishop h1 and queen h1 are checkmate. Ouch! So, but that didn't happen. It's the other way around. Now, bishop e7 occurred, and now it's your move, okay? So I'll be quiet for a few seconds. Actually, you might see a better move than what I actually played. I just have seen a better move. Uh, the move is, of course, um, <laughs> bishop e4 check and rook h2. It might be better, but I played something different. I played here f5 check. Now this um, now forces... Bishop f5, or something like that, or else black will meet queen e6. So I played bishop f5, and now it's not hard to see. The next one is it is um, bishop f5 is taken with the rook on f5. Now it's sitting on f5, and the king is ready to react to this um, rook f5 business. So plays king f5, that's the only move really. There are other moves, but I don't really want to look at them because I don't think they're very good. Um, and I was threatening queen e6 anyway and rook f7, etc. So here's rook f5 and now what? What would I play now? What do you want to play now? The move that I played was queen d7, which has the idea of what? Um, there's only a few things left on the board, and it isn't my king, it's bishop takes pawn, and getting into this pin here. This is what I love in chess, is this sort of thing. This is what I've said already on this chess channel. This is the sort of things I like in chess, is pins and forks. They're the ones that I learnt. So rook h7. And we have bishop d5 as promised. So now queen h6. Okay. Now it's your move. What's the move you're going to play now? Do you see my move? Do you see the move? And this is only because I've been doing chess puzzles. I've woken up my tactical awareness. It is, of course, the sparkling move. Bishop takes e6 check. But I hear you say, but what about queen e6? Dum dum. Well, yes, that's correct. Queen e6 is the move that was played, but... 
Um, other than that, what's going to occur is Bishop F5 check um, if uh, um, if the wrong one. Now, if the, I've just seen that if King G5 is not King G6 is the main line, if King G5, then we just have Bishop D2 check, Bishop takes Queen. We're going to get the Queen eventually, aren't we? So after Queen E6... We have the driving away sacrifice and that is the end of the session and I do hope you got something out of it. I do hope your chess is going well or whatever you're doing in life and know that you're very, very special and very unique. You're just like everyone else. You're just unique, just like everyone else. That famous saying that everyone is unique. You're just like everyone else. You're unique. Okay, you get the point, I hope. And if you don't, ask me what it means because it's a bit it's a bit sort of hard at this time of night, which isn't too bad. It's getting on to five twenty or something. Yeah, so five twenty. G four check. And uh now this drives the king away from the protection of the queen, of course. So the king does go away and goes to e four, queen e six. Now the threat is of course queen f five check. Uh, but here white was met with um, bishop c5 and I could go queen f5 but I went queen c4 and black resigned and I hope you really really did enjoy this session thank you for watching I am very pleased to get second um, and I don't deserve first as I've already mentioned I don't deserve to get first because I lost two games uh, why don't I show you those two losses right now? And then I'm gone, okay? Promise. First one is um, this game. Yes, I didn't... <sighs> have much fun in this position I just found it very technical a bit too much for me to play in this three minute game and that this is where I dropped the ball and like yesterday I yesterday I played some chess all the other day in the weekend I mean on the Saturday played some chess and I went oh no what did I do that for I got checkmated I think I've already told you I got checkmated with Queen F7 checkmate, I was black. And I went, queen c6? How can I do that? How can I move my queen to c6? Okay, so this is queen f7. Checkmate! I heard that. Boom! So that's that one. And this opponent, my um, opponent, is live streaming uh, either on YouTube or Twitch. And so this is our second game where it's 1-0 to me. And so this is my opponent's revenge game. So after that, I'm out of here. Bye. So here it goes here. Okay, this game here. And this is the last promise. <laughs> this is pretty bad, isn't it? This does not look good. <laughs> Is it still, mate? No. So I was on, yeah. I could have just about waited for stalemate. He might have got stalemated. <laughs> oh, it's Queen G4, isn't it, checkmate? Uh, but I've still got that G pawn, haven't I? Otherwise, it's a draw. If I don't have that, oh, well, you know, like I, I can move the king to G3, can't I? As promised, I'm going now. Bye.